Hello, this is Ronnie. I'm back here with a clip taken from a long video that I just finished to record for my subscribers. I'm leaving the option for my services at 50% off for the first year open and I'll be providing further details after the clip ends. So if you're interested, please stay on. I'll be talking to you again at the end of the uh, clip. I would like you also to read carefully the disclaimer that I'm going to put up now so that uh, it is clear to you before you uh, go ahead and watch the video. This is uh, just a standard thing. This is uh, the chart of silver priced in US dollars, that's the daily scale. I think silver is still uh, busy tracing a very complex uh, fourth wave pattern uh, like gold and uh, silver is not ready to uh, move higher. It might take uh, several more weeks uh, to finish this uh, very complex pattern. I'm going to show you the 60 minutes, let's jump to see the details here. We have a situation here where we settled on A, B behind us, yet yeah, they are finished and um, I assume that there could be further drift down here to complete the C. It may have taken the shape of an ABCX, ABC I mean the decline here and what we're doing now could easily turn into another one of these uh, uh, patterns that seem like they're going nowhere but that will potentially complete uh, either an X or a B. If you take all of this as an A, that's going to be your B and down you go for the C. And that's it. That's going to be an ABC silver. If it does go towards 24, 24 and a half, uh, sadly I don't expect it to break uh, dramatically 23 and a half. I would be very, very surprised really. Uh, I think if it goes down already it will become a good buy at 24 and a half, 24. Uh, don't rush to buy it while it's falling. It's never good to buy a falling, uh, I mean to try to catch a falling knife. Uh, wait for it to stabilize even if you don't get the, you know, the, the, the tick of the absolute bottom. Uh, you could still make uh, good returns by joining it once it stabilizes here and you want to check what gold is doing, what all the major gold and silver producers are doing. Some of them might move earlier than the commodities themselves, okay. Uh, but that is essentially my projection. It's going to go sideways. One, this is a critical level of very short term. Okay, for those who are focused on silver, very short term breaking 2580 is important. Okay, it might mean in fact that uh, whatever I assumed is going to take place here in terms of a B is over. Uh, could have terminated here. Could have terminated here because my pattern that I'm showing you here does not does not include breaking this, do you see? So once it breaks this level, in fact, it tells you it's probably going down to terminate the C, the A, B, C, and then it's gonna come back. So that is my reading at this point for silver priced in US dollars. Here's the chart of gold and you will be excused if you think that uh, this is looking a little bit confusing because in a way, yes, it can be confusing because here on the 60 minutes of gold price in US dollars, we took this as an A, B, C, D, E, and we said, hey, we got a fourth wave, potentially complete. And you know what? It could still turn out to be the case, but as I told you yesterday, uh, when it was running up here, I told you that it is very unlikely. Uh, I see what the other major gold and silver producers are doing, and those charts that I examined, 
uh, told me forget it the commodities are not ready to run straight ahead uh, there was only one chart that was uh, giving some hope that gold might be ready to zoom high immediately that was the chart of Kinross Gold Corporation but since then I've reviewed many others and for now I'm still uh, siding with the idea that in fact this could turn out to be a prolonged a prolonged correction sideways uh, it could take two it could take two versions I mean two it could go down two different paths but they would both lead eventually to termination of a fourth wave on this scale okay so one way is to take this as a b and we're going for a c that will see gold actually going back to test 1860 that's perfectly possible okay you know that this is on if it breaks the red line that i put here which is a critical level 1905.8 okay it breaks that you know it is very likely uh, potentially going to test lower support right here and the pattern will extend substantially okay uh, a version that would see gold staying in a very tight range here and uh, basically delivering uh, signal of really substantial strength would be that it will bounce off support here a thousand nine hundred and ten yes thousand nine hundred and ten or just under that and that could be definitely accommodated by the extensive uh, pattern that i'm showing you here with this being an a that's b that's c that's d no change but the change arrives when you start looking at the e leg and the e leg itself is uh split into an a b c d e do you see where i'm going and the fourth wave will end here and if that's the case that means we have several more weeks definitely uh we have uh lateral boom is still ahead of us and that becomes the critical level on this side uh that's 1966.75 if it goes sideways it shies away from the support right here it doesn't break it it just goes sideways here and then after let's say a few weeks it pops its head above this level you can be reasonably sure that the fourth wave is behind you it's going to absolutely explode okay so these are the two options that i uh, see currently as likely in gold here's the chart of uh, silver priced in yen and i've had this chart also last week and we took a look and we said silver is not ready to move higher silver is showing us like it needs to do still a lot of work here and nothing changed absolutely nothing changed uh, in fact most of the, the errors here uh, from last time that i covered it and i don't see any reason to change anything that's an a that's a b no problem it's probably heading for that c and then d e in short more work more work on the lateral movement here before it's ready to resume the uptrend this is uh, the chart of the slv set that is the 60 minute scale with the a with the b unchanged okay we just don't know if the c d are behind us and we are now going for um, that uh, um, tight range that will deliver the e lag or whether in fact the c might not have ended here but it will end here yes we just don't know this is a critical level for you to watch that comes at 24 breaking 24 you should assume that it is going there uh, to deliver the end of the c after which i fully expect the rebound that over several days will trace for us the d yes do you see the d and then the e and when all is ready yes the big pattern is ready it will of course uh, look up uh, that's the way i see things at this point so remember this is uh, a critical level for you to watch that comes at 24. It, uh, some details about my service currently at 50 percent off for first-time users you need to go on uh, my website the home page is right here it's uh, wave mastery www at wave mastery.com yeah point uh, wave mastery in one word dot com that takes you to the home page you can uh, scroll down look through some things that i've written here some recommendations from past users and current users and that is essentially the offer currently open uh, only to first-time subscribers okay so there is the daily service 
daily videos that are preceded by trial so you can take the trial for uh, one week and at the end of that if you're happy you do nothing you go on to the plan of um, half price essentially 79 presents half price of the normal price and that will be good for one year that means uh, 12 um, payments of 79 uh, if you want to watch just the weekend videos then you go for this one and uh, it does give you access to um, the weekend videos and uh, I often also insert a video as a bonus uh, midweek just to keep you on track to see a little bit uh, you know where things are moving because sometimes one week of full price action is a lot and the wave count can change especially if you're a short-term trader uh, you really want to know uh, what's happening so that is essentially the situation if you decide to go for example for the daily videos you uh, click here it takes you to the page where it explains to you you should read that it explains to you what um, what is covered etc etc if you like what you read you click here subscribe it takes you to uh, PayPal uh, because of my uh, paying system is through PayPal and um, you pay through PayPal, you can see you have the trial at $9.99, that's uh, for the first seven days. As I said, if you like what you see, do nothing, it just, it just goes automatically. If you don't like, you can cancel. Or if you don't know how to cancel, or you have any doubt, you have any question, you can write to me, of course. Uh, once you go through and you pay, you come back, uh, PayPal will send you back to my website. Uh, to um, fill in your um, profile details, uh, choose your login, and uh, once you do that, you will be led uh, automatically to the page with, uh, with the links to the various videos classified by date. If at any point in time in this process you have a problem, things are not going uh, as I'm describing to you right now, all you have to do is just contact me and I'll help you out. Um, that is essentially it. So um, you'll have one week to look at things. I would like to just spend a minute uh, about the website itself. I have written here a few articles. Uh, is this website for me? You can go through that one. Psychology and trading, trading and the arts, why join? Yes, each of these articles uh, could uh, perhaps uh, help you to, to see um, how to relate to my website but there's no substitute in my opinion to actually take a trial you know you take a trial and I want to say another thing you take a trial and you can't make up your mind you want more time to think fine I understand that then you cancel but then you're not allowed to take another trial please I want to be very clear about that there are people who abuse this and it's really um, not right uh, you're not allowed to take more than one trial okay a trial is a trial but if you're interested after you take a trial you're interested to come back you can still benefit from the low price for the next full year but you have to write to me and then i will send you a special link without a trial and, and, and if you join then you're going to go immediately onto the reduced price plan for 12 months okay uh, if you take another trial after you took already one I am going to have to cancel that and refund you and if you do that two or three times I'm just going to blacklist you because there are people who have been doing it and I'm afraid this is really absolutely not right. Um, this is subscribe here, uh, use subscription. Once you, are, uh, once you are logged in you will see this one highlighting you uh, uh, daily service videos or weekend service videos. Yeah, It will show which one you really um, um, have the right to, to access the daily service videos to be very clear they cover the weekend service videos okay so you don't have to subscribe to both the daily covers everything I do the weekend of course is more selective now I have here resources there are chart galleries right here uh, chart one two three there are plenty plenty of chart, uh, charts here that give you uh, an idea how I go about uh, uh, subdividing uh, various uh, market action here there I covered a lot a lot of markets and you can see there is history here that could be very interesting for you to just go through let's see platinum for example yes that's 1973 to 1978 
if you click right on top where it shows you the hand, the chart opens up big. You can print it if you like. Um, here's an example of Platinum April um, uh, 1980. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then the huge correction that followed after that. Uh, so they, there is plenty for you, whichever market you're interested uh, interested in the financials, uh, commodities, precious metals, etc. Uh, okay, so that chart galleries, then useful links, as it as the name implies. Yes, recommended reading list. You have uh, a long list of uh, books here that I've read over the years that I found very interesting. Of course, I have many more books that uh, I would like to add. It's just a question of time. I don't always have time to update this one, but the books that you find here. Uh, did help me in the beginning and still uh, the information here is very valuable in these books. For example, Kroll, I don't know how many of you heard about Stanley Kroll. Stanley Kroll was um, a really imaginative fellow trader uh, that wrote, um, wrote very well about his own trading and in trading in general. I learned a lot from, uh, from these books and of course uh, if you haven't heard about uh, Reminiscence of a Stock Operator, you should uh, get this book and read it. Uh, you will not regret. Uh, this is uh, uh, a book that um, most traders, I think, uh, have come across and read. It is very, very interesting. And uh, as you go down the list, you will see if there are things that are of interest to you. Uh, of course, uh, go ahead get them some of them are in, even available online for free as a pdf uh, check that uh, if you have questions about that you can even uh, contact me here's the contact us and you uh, put your name please make sure you give me the right email address message simple maths submit i get it you'll hear from me i'm based in belgium so if you write to me from australia or from the us and i'm having uh, my arrest do not be surprised if I don't react quickly, okay? Uh, normally within uh, within a day you will have a reply for me. I, I check my email uh, uh, fairly regularly. So that's about it. Hope to see you visiting my website. Hope to see you taking a trial. Um, if you have any questions, again, don't hesitate. Get in touch with me and uh, wishing you great trading week. Bye now.